Hi, this is Dr. Brandon Champ from Algoma University. I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to run an ANCOVA test in uh, IBM's SPSS uh, data, uh, well, data analysis program or statistics program. Uh, this is version 19 of uh, SPSS for those interested. And uh, an ANCOVA essentially tests whether um, a, a linear or a, a continuous predictor, uh, a continuous variable, such as in this case maximum age, can be significantly predicted by another continuous variable, in this case um, log max, uh, sorry, um, mean wood density, uh, or a nominal uh, variable, in this case cl two classes of, of organisms, gymnosperms and angiosperms, so here written as zeros and ones. Now the first step in this process is to go to analyze, general linear model and univariate, and now we have to select our, our dependent variable, which is what we want to predict. And in this case, we want to predict maximum age. All right. Oh, but we're going to take that out and use the log version of it because we, uh, we've already log transformed it to uh, deal with normality requirements for this analysis. And then we select gymnosperm angiosperm as our fixed factor. And we select mean wood density as our covariate. And then we can simply run the analysis. Now what we want to take away from this uh, test as it comes up here are a couple of things. First of all, that uh, mean wood density has a significance value of 0.535. And to be really uh, useful to us or, or to what we were looking for was to see whether this value was less than 0.05, which is the accepted uh, alpha value for these tests. Uh, if it were less than 0.05, then we would recognize that mean wood density is a significant uh, predictor of um, species age. In this case, it, it is not. Uh, what we do see, though, is that uh, whether you are a gymnosperm or an angiosperm has a significant effect on how long you're going to live, at least for this collection of species that we've looked at. So the p-value or the significance value is indeed less than 0.05 here. It's quite low. Um, so it's a strong predictor. So, uh, And if we go back to the, the data, what you can actually see is that uh, gymnosperms tend to live a little bit longer or a lot longer in some cases than angiosperms. And of course, there's some bias here because um, a lot of the data that I've been able to accumulate for this little test um, have been from some of the oldest trees around, um, you know, things like uh, sequoias, etc. All right, now the other last bit that you can look at here is the R squared value. In this case, we're just going to look at 0.287, not the adjusted R squared for our purposes. And what this tells us is uh, how strong our model is at predicting maximum age. And what it tells us here is about 28.7% of variation in maximum age can be explained by our model. And that's predominantly by uh, discriminating whether what you're looking at is a gymnosperm or an angiosperm. Um, so we've got some evidence here that uh, some parts of our model are useful, but that wood density uh, is not a strong predictor in this case. All right, and that's how you do an ANCOVA in, um, in SPSS.